born in Hutchinson, Kansas, actually the only way to the hospital, so I was born on the highway. And I'm in uh, Atlanta property development. I'm Celia Jamaris. I was born in Fort Worth, Texas, lived in U.S. Texas, and I'm in the environmental design.
target market is uh, come, students from Como District. And it, the original students are going to come from your uh, already relationships been established with Burn Ministries. So, um, and then initial hire of faculty will happen just right before fall 2016. Okay, facility management, um, the annual operation cost for phase one is going to be 289000 and that's going to increase by the time you get to phase five, that's going to increase to 892000 that includes all the maintenance operation of it, and the uh, faculty, not the faculty, it does not include faculty sal uh, salaries, it's just, just um, for facility management. And so your social culture value comes from um, how the, the uh, cottages are designed. You have their family unit, you, um, which encourages students to love well and lead well. And then um, it offer, offers separation between males and females, uh, but it also comes in, in the middle and combines to create a sense of community. And you have a chapel as well that encourages uh, in the, the Christian folks of the school that teaches students to live, uh, love well. Your economic value, you can rent it out for wedding venues or any other type of um, event. And then also, it being an orchard could become sort of kind of an attraction, which could lead to a further revenue for you all, as well as increased values around, because people's coming in for attraction for an orchard. Um, and then the focus of the school to live life well also has a multi-generational economic impact for the students. And then the environmental value, we're using natural lighting. We have a heavy emphasis on that with windows and uh, we have uh, light tubes as well, um, which reduces energy costs. We also did not develop in the floodplain. We stayed out of the floodplain, so we don't have to uh, make any changes to the floodplain and do all those adjustments. Um, and then uh, the country setting also encourages students to uh, work well because it's the environment that they're in. Um, it just encourages that right over uh, play or whatever. So sensory value, again, natural lighting. And, and research has shown that it uh, increases student performance and concentration. So we, that's the reason we put the emphasis on that. Um, it also has, uh, it also reduces the energy costs like I mentioned as well. Okay, so the constraints on the land, about half of it's in a floodplain, and then your, it's your regular shape, so that puts a little bit of uh, constraints on it, as well as the easements crisscrossings of that property. Um, so that uh, kind of limited on the area we could build in, so we had to work with that. But one of the things that's great about the site, it's easily accessible. The main track is, as you all know, has roads on each three sides. And then um, we have a the staff housing is an easement that kind of runs right through that. I didn't see a power line on that, but I just have to look at that to determine whether we could abandon that. So capital, um, this assumes that the maintenance is going to be paid through an endowment, um, and we assume the five percent interest for the amount, of, uh, the additional amount of capital you'd have to put into that endowment each phase. Starting phase one, you have five point eight million. Phase two, you have to add an additional three million, and the total by the time you got to phase five, the total would be seventeen point eight. So the total capital for each phase for phase one would be twenty twelve point four million. And then it decreases from there, 7.2, 9.2, then 5, 6, and 4.4 million for the last phase. The total capital required would be 38.8 million for this project, counting all the management fees and, and building. Metal roofing and uh, exterior stone. 
phase four is about 1.8 million. The red barn will be built in this phase. It consists of a timber-free cotton wool, metal roofing, and corrugated steel siding. Phase five includes six student dorms <coughs> and two staff houses. This is the last phase of the project. The construction cost in this phase is about 1.4 million. Finally, it is an overview of the whole project. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you all for your attention and having us.